Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? I'm all right. I am making a centerpiece. I've been wanting to make a Halloween centerpiece and when I was in Family Dollar the other day picking up some cough drops because I have a horrible sore throat, I found this candy bowl. They have it in this color, you know, the kind of oil spill color, and they have it in a silver. It was $4. Um, I think it, and it, it's got like a sturdy base, so I know I can put a lot of stuff in it. It'll stand up. Um, See, it kind of goes back like that. I think it's a pretty good size for four dollars and we can make something cool with it so that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Uh, I had originally bought a chunk of styrofoam from this is one of the Dollar Tree ones but I remembered I was like don't they have like a bunch of plops of great stuff? This is this foam that comes in a can when you use it to fill a container if it fills up the container, you can't like store it and use it again. You have to use the whole can once you open it. So I just made some um, piles of it on some parchment paper for, you know, instances like this when I need to just fill something up. So I'm going to put this one in. I kind of already test fitted these. I don't think I'm going to need any. Do I want to put that in or do I want this big one? Because I think the big one. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use this one. I'm not gonna like put any glue or anything in there because it fits pretty well. And I bet it means I don't have to cut that styrofoam because y'all know that sound, that styrofoam cutting sound? I can't, I hate it. Um, so, I have some things over here. I have some stuff I found in my Halloween box. I have some florals. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm starting. I don't know where I'm going. But I know I want to put this pumpkin and at least this one. I want to make sure that these two are in there. These are both from... Really? What is this hooked around? These are both from Walmart. They were both 98 cents. I like this one because of the shape and I like this one because it's like faded from the orange to the yellow and it's got a lot of ridges on it and stuff so i know i want these in here i want this one up some i might want this one up some too we'll see so i'm going to when you take the tags out of these i don't like to cut it because then you leave the tag behind so i put my finger right over that hole like just where my nail is right there you can see and then pull that out so you don't have a bunch of tear out. Because sometimes, you know, you pull it and a whole punk pops out. Like that. That's what I don't want to happen. What just happened. You would think that when I cleaned my table this morning... I would have kept a bunch of the excess pieces of, you know, like the stuff left over after you cut flowers off to impale this stuff on, but I did not. Not a big deal. I have some paper straws right here. Mostly because these are the cheap Dollar Tree straws. Those are the ones from Walmart. I mean, you want a, a straw that's going to hold up through, like, drinking, crafting, whatever you want. Those are the ones to use. I got some glue on there, and I don't need it like super high. stuff is that the glue melts it really really quickly okay. so you got to kind of hold it there for longer than you would have to if you use like a a wire um, and this one I think this one's gonna go directly on there maybe
my glue is at a temperature where it's like you want it, you can have all or you can have nothing. I'm trying to push this down so it, you know, that edge won't you won't see any foam underneath there. And then I'm just gonna hold this for a second. I want this to be a I want there to be a back to this like this is the front this is the back so I might just leave this intact which I never do but and this will kind of bother me that there's a it just goes straight up but we can deal with that I'm gonna cut this down a little bit seen that already? I honestly don't know what my schedule is like because I'm like filming December videos and it's September. I might actually take this and instead of trying to stick it in there I might maybe I'm gonna throw it now I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna say screw it and I'm just gonna glue it. fillers to fill in like around here and like next to here but I have some stuff it's pumpkins on here good it's not going anywhere I'm not so sure about that other one but this one's not that good and I've got these from Michael's I don't, I don't know when I got these I just really hope I didn't pay four dollars for them around I wanted to address I know I shouldn't because it's like why why feed these people anything someone commented on one of my videos this morning that said stop talking about yourself and tell us what you're doing or explain what you're doing now it was in a uh, video that was an hour and 40 minutes long so did you think I was just gonna sit there and tell you how to put deco mesh in a pipe cleaner the whole time I mean, is that a video anybody would want to watch? And be like, okay, I'm going to pull it 10 inches, and I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to twist it in, and then I'm going to pull it another 10 inches, and I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to twist it in. Like, just that, the whole video. And I shouldn't respond to it when I said, you know, she said stop talking, and I was like, stop watching. What, what is the point of that? What is the point? If you don't like how a video is going, if you don't like what somebody's saying, if you don't like what they're doing, you can stop watching. That's an option. 
Oh, this is just... I don't know, how, how, what are you supposed to do with these when you buy them? I mean, these things are on here like freaking super glue. So, I was just like, uh, stop watching. And it didn't bother me. I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm going to stress about this all day. But it was just like, what is the point? Like, I used to comment on people's stuff and be like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, they don't care. First of all, I don't care. Nobody cares what people are saying on the internet. And usually it was met back with somebody saying something like, oh, well, you're jealous. That's what everybody says, you're jealous. You're just jealous, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, Ugh. I just, I, like, I stop commenting on, like, I barely comment on anything on YouTube, unless it's my own videos, and I'm like, hey, y'all, you know, somebody says something, I reply back to them, but, like, on other videos, like, I just, I just don't bother, because YouTube comments are just, like, usually pretty disgusting, um, you know, everybody's a hero behind their keyboard, but, yeah, I was, I was, out with my mom and I was like checking up because I just oh, oh we just hit 3,000 subscribers guys this is my first video since I hit 3,000 subscribers I was looking at that you know seeing seeing what was going on and you know because I posted it on YouTube I posted it on Instagram I'm just kind of sticking these in here I'm sorry I'm talking about myself and not telling you exactly what I'm doing I'm sticking these into foam um I think I'm gonna save that one and I saw the comment, I told my mom, and she was like, what do they mean? And I was like, I'm not sure. Because I said, I'm going to take these and make 10 inch poofs, and I'm going to put them in the wreath. And then I talked about other stuff until I was done with that. But some people, you know, they're never going to be happy. I'm like, that is so rude. Just like, calm down, first of all. Stop watching, secondly. And then I go to her page, because I'm like, well, what is she, like, what is her deal, what is, what is she into, like, what kind of videos does she post? She doesn't have any, she doesn't have any videos posted. And all her videos that she favorited are about Jesus and God. And I'm like, would Jesus want you to spend time bothering me because you don't like a video? No. I don't know much about Jesus, but I'm pretty sure he would be like, hey, Why? Why are you bothering this guy? He's trying to have a nice day with his mother. Which I did. Thank you for asking. Alright, so I have some leftover ribbon tails from... This is like my leftover project. Like, I'm just like, everything that I have left, I'm just shoving in here. These were from... Maybe the skeleton wreath again? And this is just another piece. I have some wider ribbons here, but I think those are going to be too much. So we're going to push those back there, which I said after I cleaned my desk, I was like, I just need to quit putting stuff way back there, but see, I'm going to dovetail this, and how you do this is you fold it in half, and then you cut it like this, and then you have points instead of the blunt edges. And then, because this ribbon, which was very expensive, is such a pain, you take your lighter, and you just kind of kiss those edges right there to seal them up. You just kiss them. You give them a little bit. And you... And that's how you do that. For everybody, everybody wondering, why does he always have that lighter on his table? That's why. Also, my dog smokes, so sometimes I have to light a cigarette for him. Poor baby dog, he's got some kind of rash or something on his stomach. I don't know what it is, I don't know what's going on. But he's like, not happy about it. He's like, this is not the moment. And of course, he's, he's like, I, I, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait to let this get really bad until it's the weekend. And going to the vet would literally cost you an arm and a leg. But it, it, I mean, it's not bothering him. It doesn't seem like he's just licking it. But he's always licking. That's his favorite thing to do.
are like not working right today. And both these ribbons are from Craft Outlet. And that's kind of where I want it, right? I mean, we just kind of put it on a oh. So this loopiness. I want to put it like over here to add to this loopiness. Yeah. I'm not gonna put like an actual bow in here. Well, besides that one. <laughs> um, it's just a little. This is why is this so? So yeah, that was my day with dealing with that. Which, I mean, it wasn't really me dealing with it. I was just like, okay, girl. I told my mom I needed to go pick up a prescription from CVS and... Um, my mom needed to go... Some, my mom needed to go to Dollar General for something. I was like, that's an awfully, spe like, awfully specific place to have to go, but she needed, they, she sells, you know, one of those, um, the little warmer things, like, that go in the wall. She likes the lavender from Dollar General. Okay, so how's that shaping up? Cute. So I said, okay, well, if we're going over there, I want to go get Chinese, and, like, my favorite Chinese place they, I don't know if this is, if it's just me that thinks this is excessive, but y'all tell me, all I'm doing right now, so let me explain before I talk about myself, um, I'm just cutting these down, not using the leaves because they look terrible. My favorite Chinese place, it's called China Moon, fast, cheap, friendly, they close their dining room which most restaurants in America did. They closed their dining room. It was takeout only. That's not my issue. They built a wall. Don't want to leave this one. A little, a little bit of the leaves on there. We'll see what happens. Let's see, like, I hate these leaves like this where it's got, like, the salvage on it right there. Can you see that, how it's got the little holes? They they went to takeout only. That's fine. That was smart. Um, but they built a wall... So you can't actually enter the restaurant. Like, it is... And it's not just like... You know, like, if you don't want to, if you don't want people to enter the restaurant, like, put a... Move a table right there so they can't pass through. They built a wall. Like, it's constructed out of, like, MDF. And it is sealed all the way around with caulk. And, like, the first time I went in there, I was like, what the hell is this? And then once we got to the point where we could open up restaurants again, like, it's still there. And I told my mom, I said, I, like, I want Chinese, I don't, like, I want to go and sit somewhere and just have a nice lunch. Um, but, like, China Moon is not it, because you can't eat in there anymore. Super weird. And they're open, like, all the time. Like, you can go there on Christmas morning, and they're open. So we went to this other Chinese place, and they weren't open yet, because it was, like, 10.50, y'all know we'd be getting up early over here. It's like 10.50. They're not open yet. So I'm like, I'm going to walk down to this Latin market. It's just, you know, it's it's been, they, they've been open for a while. I've never been in there because, um, well, I mean, I never need to, like, specifically go to a place that's, like, something specific like that. So I walk down there and I walk in and I'm just like, holy crap, this place... It's not super huge. Like, I mean, it's like a little independent-owned Latin market. Not super huge. I keep... I'm just gonna... This thread that I keep pulling, um, that can all go in the garbage because 
Got a needle in the other, but I don't care. I just want to throw it away. I walk in there, and it's not super huge. It's 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 a decent size. Like it's a decent size for like a small independently owned grocery store. There is so much stuff. Like there's food. They had this whole like it was like a 12 foot wall, and it was just filled with tortillas. And I was like, how? What kind of business are these people doing? Who's buying all of these tortillas? And it's not like they were hand, like homemade. Well, they might have had some that were homemade, but I was like, they were they were just in packages. I'm like, this place is so fascinating. So I'm walking around and like you get to the aisle where they have like all the um the Mexican candy. All these like fruit gels that come in these pails that are shaped like animals. And I was like, this is so cool. Because there's another for such a small we have such a small Latin population, but there's two Latin grocery stores in my area, like right near my house. They have all that stuff. They have all the like the candy where you don't really know what it is, but it's a version of whatever they call it everywhere else. You know, it was like a Milky Way, but it was like the Spanish or the Mexican. That was there was a lot of Mexican candy, and then there was like a lot of Spanish stuff, but it was mostly like Mexican Mexican food and things like that. So I'm walking around and I am looking and I see. But they also have a cookware. They have a cafe. They have a meat market that sells like, like carne asada stuff and like all this other meat that I've never heard of. I couldn't read what was in the menu because it was in Spanish, and I was like, okay, well, I, I like I I guess I can't like come to eat here. They had a whole rack of shoes, and then they had a little room in the back where a guy was getting shaved. Like, his face shaved. Like, there was a barber back there. And I was like, this is multi-purpose. Like, this store has everything. I don't know if I'd want somebody getting their hair cut next to, uh, like, the, um, it was by, like, the tortilla wall. And my mom, she came in after I was walking around for a little bit, right when I was checking out. I just bought some, um, some stuff that I was like, oh, it's like Mexican candy, whatever, I'll get that, because at least I know what it is. And she came in and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm buying some of this stuff. And she said, why? And I said, well, because I just walked around here for like 10 minutes, like just doing nothing. And I said, I feel so bad when I go in a place and I'm like, oh no, this is not for me. All right, I'm placing some of these roses in. Because that's my filler. Um, so when I went to go check out after, I'm like, I think I got everything in here that I kind of, it was like three things. And it came out to be like three something. And the woman was like, five dollar minimum? Like she was real quiet. I don't think she, um, I don't think she spoke much English. She said five dollar minimum. And I was like, oh. So like I'm looking around and on the counter they have all these, I don't know what they were. It was like. It looked like like pork rinds and stuff. Like it was a bunch of like fried things, but they were in like clear bags. Like it was something they had done, not like a commercial product. Like they had put this stuff in these bags and they were all over the counters. And there were all these like pastries all over the counters. And I, I was like, I want like everything in here except for the bags of mysterious meat. But I didn't, I was like, I don't know what any of this is. I was like, I need to find like a Spanish speaking friend and go over there because they had all the pictures of the food in the little cafe and I was like everything looks so good I don't know what that is because it's covered in cheese and sour cream but it looks fantastic yeah, I'm just going around and filling in some spaces with this I'm not going like not shutting them all the way down because I still want a little bit of height but I'm making sure that I'm Mostly covering the foam. So we leave there and we go to the Chinese restaurant, which is now open. And there's like nobody in there except there was a guy waiting to pick up an order. I was like, when did he order? They opened like three minutes ago. And then there's other guy in there and he's like, he's an older guy. And he's like, hey, what do y'all think about this? Like he's talking to everybody and me and my mom are just like sitting by ourselves and I'm like, don't talk to us. 
we're not we're not social like that. So he's talking to everyone. He's like, "Well, what do you think about this person who's going to play football?" Because the first Saints game is tomorrow, and um, that is literally all that matters. Like, no, no weather, no virus, nothing. Just, just the Saints game. Like, the Saints are back. People can like live their lives again. I'm like, oh, it's time to take a nap. So he's talking about that. He's talking about this. He's talking about the. Uh, there's, there's some disturbance in the Gulf, and, and this place wasn't open on Labor Day, and he had to go somewhere else, and, um, the man, like, the guy who owns the place, I'm assuming, because he was, like, one of the only people who worked there, he was like, oh, yeah, like, they were talking back and forth, and I was just like, what? I am, like, I am not that person who can go and, like, talk to people. Like, I can talk to you if there's, like, something we need to talk about, but me, he was like, football, the weather, um, Labor Day, this, that. Like, he just kept going from things to things, and then when all the people he were talking to left, he said something to me and my mom. He said something, he was like, um, yeah, they said that tomorrow for the game, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that. My mom, like, picks up a drink, and she's just, like, sipping it and staring at me. I was like, will you say something to this guy? You know more about football than I do. But he must be in there a lot, because they were like, um... When the guy gave, brought him his food, he was like, "All right, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on Monday." He's like, "I'll be here," and I was like, "Oh my god!" Is this guy eating Chinese food every day? I mean, that's like the dream, but also expensive. The woman there was so nice; like, she was just like, "Can I get you anything?" Like, just very attentive. went, I told my mom, I said, listen, I need to go get some wonton soup, because, I don't know, tell me if any of y'all agree with this, people who cook Chinese food, who have Chinese restaurants, have some kind of special equipment or magical powers that they can make the food so unbelievably hot, it's just, it was so hot when she brought my soup out. I was, I was just sitting out. I was like blowing on it for like 10 minutes. The whole reason I wanted it is because it was hot and it was going to help my throat, but it was so, it was so hot. How did I get the food that hot? Like I know walks are super hot, but you're not cooking soup in a walk, are you? I was like, this is impressive. go in I'm filling in just kind of around here the base I feel like I had more stuff to put in here so these are just I don't know why I put one with an eyeball back there these are just going in here to cover up like this section and then I'm gonna go back and add see because you can see like right here I need something to cover up the foam It's so hard to find fall oh you know what I have? I'll put these right here so I would remember them. Like this is definitely fall, but I think I want a couple of little pops of this orange. This orangey yellow. I need it like this and then I, I cut it super short. Oh my god, these tags. I just, I can't with these freaking tags. And I did get my table all cleaned off. Like, once I'm done with this project, it'll be clean again, which makes me excited. Day with my mom. We're doing 
a dinner over by her house tomorrow. <laughs> she, um, my sister hasn't been coming because she doesn't live, she just lives a couple, a couple like, you know, maybe 30 minutes away, but, um, she couldn't come because it was like the weather was really bad the last couple of days. The last couple of times we tried to have dinner and, um, my mom was like, so I'm doing dinner tomorrow. What do you want? And I was like, I thought you were doing like hot hamburgers. And she's like, yeah, um, I was going to do hamburgers. Oh, like a nice beef stew. And I was like, what? I said, how do you go from hamburgers to beef stew? And she said, oh, I was just thinking about making a big pot of stew. And like, when I was a kid, I used to call her, su her stew slop. Because I just don't like brown, brown gravy with rice. Like, I don't. No, thank you. Um, and I was like, eh, you're making a slop, which I still call it that even though I eat it now, but I usually eat it over either by itself or with mashed potatoes. Like I don't eat it with rice because I don't know, I'm traumatized from my childhood. I felt like we ate rice every day. So she's like, you don't want that? And I was like, well, it's 150 degrees outside. So, I'm not really in a stew kind of mood. So I was like, so why don't you do the hamburger? She says, okay. And then she walks a little bit. She's like, what about hot dogs? And I was like, oh my God, I don't care. She said, hot dogs would be easier. I said, do whatever's easier on you. Whatever you want to do, you do. So we are having hot dogs with french fries and jambalaya. She's like, I'll do, I'll do hot dogs and jambalaya. But she said it like a thing, like, you know, oh, I'll do, um... What is it like something that I like hamburgers and hamburgers and uh french fries she was like i'll do hot dogs and jambalaya and i was like is that a company like i don't remember eating that when i was a kid okay this is pretty much filled but this is like really distracting this yellow but i'm, I'm here for it i can get another rose in there i think so that's what we're doing tomorrow if anybody wants to come you can come to my mom's house she said, okay, she, like, bought an eight-pack of hot dogs. She's like, that's two for each of us. And I was like, that's good. And she's like, I'm going to get another pack so everybody can take two home. And I was like, oh, okay. I think she really likes that. Um, we all get together and hang out. This one's kind of smashed. That's cute. Look how cute that is. And because I knew y'all knew these were coming. Like, it's Halloween. Like, I'm not going to buy these from Dollar Tree and put them in there. I mean, I'm not going to get the tag off, but... Am I, like, missing, like, a way to do this? Like, if you put a tag on there, can you just make it paper so it's easy to rip? Don't coat it with, like, plastic. She like she was sweeping and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm sweeping and I was like, eh, I, don't, I don't really do that. She's like, there's glitter everywhere and I was like, Mom, it's glitter season. It's just it's glitter season and it's been glitter season for a while because I was doing Christmas in like May to keep myself from going absolutely insane. Halloween. They have 
and done Halloween. I should be drinking my tea. That's the whole reason I made it. I haven't done Halloween in like several many years. But I like Halloween season. It's like it's time to get spooky, you know. black which is going to go behind another pumpkin. Oh, there's glitter everywhere. I think I'm just going to kind of fan this one out. Give it a little. I think I always make sure I bend these. Because if not, they just kind of stick. This one needs to be bent some more. Bip, bip. Bip, bip, bip. Alright, and I want you to go. I was like, that went in easy, but it didn't even go into the container, so. So when I'm doing a, like, an arrangement where it's definitely going to be, like, up against something, I still always put something in the back. You know, I would, I would never leave this just, like, with a gap of, um, foam showing through. something here, which might just be this other flower. Is that what I want there, Ben? Yeah, I want a little bit of orange there. Oh, it came off. Wow. Cool. I need to figure out a way to, like, set this up so you guys can see. Not necessarily what I'm seeing. Like, not this way, but, like, this way. Let's have to clean all that stuff in my mysterious corner of forbidden mystery. Oh, well, that just sounds like it snapped in half. Alright, so let's reevaluate our purple pumpkin here. Can I get okay. Wow. to get this in here, but not get it down as far as, oh, as far as I can without it, like, poking out the side. came out so cute. I mean, there's never going to get over the glitter everywhere, but... So here's our skeleton friend. It's like a spooky, a spooky, whimsical Carmen Miranda. She's the one with the fruit on her head, right? See, it lets it run down like a cost thing. 
I know those picks from Michaels were eight. I would never pay that again, but I had them. So eight, nine, ten. The vase is 14. That's the, the base, not the vase. Um, 15, 16 for the black, 17, 18 for the purple, 19 for the orange flowers, um, 20, 21 for the stuff. A little bit of ribbon, I'm not gonna count that. I'm not gonna count this little bitty bit of tubing. But yeah, here's, here's the back. Not as interesting, I mean, you could go in and build up the back some if you wanted to, which I would love to because you can, I don't like the way that looks. See right there, but. Um, yes, I mean, like, you could probably get this done for, I mean, this is four. You can't get around that if you wanted to make this, and then you can pick whatever you wanted to go in it. I mean, there wasn't really any rhyme or reason to how this was filled. It was just filled. So I want to put this other one in here. side of this pumpkin. Maybe let's just do it. Let's just do it guys. Oh wait, I got my tremors. Yes, yeah, so and now we have a triangle with our with these and with these. I don't usually I'm not one of those people that's like, you gotta follow a triangle, because I think that's just like outdated stuff, but there's a triangle here, and then these pumpkins make a triangle. Yeah, I want something here too, but, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have like cut a slit into the pumpkin so it could have come over a little bit, but it's too late now because that's not going anywhere, so it's my arrangement. Very cute, very festive. It would be cute, like, on a table. Obviously on a table, like, where else are you gonna put it? Like, on the floor. But even if you had, like, a, um, like, something in front of your house where you're gonna sit, where you would usually sit and give out candy, I don't know who's doing that this year. Like, just have it out there. I think that's cute. Relatively inexpensive and pretty quick if you're not talking about everything. If you're not talking about yourself incessantly. Okay. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it gives you an idea. Go get one of these. I think they're so cool. I saw it and I was like, that is cool. I'm going to go back and they're not going to have any, but you know. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a spooky day. Unless this is posted in, like, September, which I think it is. It might be posted. No, this is probably posted in October. I think September is done. All right, guys. Bye.